What you doing? You're a dead man. Hey, go the way you hope to. Who the devil are you? Far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. But this cab. I said get out of here. Yeah, damn French. Oh, quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Slapping another man's wife. Okay. Where's this gallery you speak of? Mary Linton. Watch out. There's that low rock What you call me? Say that to my face. Oh shit. shit, shit, shit. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You want a beating, do you? Oh you're done here! You trouble making It's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh my god. Girl. You really got it. I'll put you on a Take that. Okay, let's go, please. Meant to jump on the horse. But freaking. That's so dumb. It attacked him by accident. What you boys looking at? Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than 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 me. Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code, but your code is well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you, and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies, and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur, be kind to me, please. I'm sorry. I am, I should have asked someone else but but i'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people it wasn't that i didn't love you arthur you know that mm. oh arthur we were so very young think how different life could have been yeah i think about it a lot it all seems so long ago and far away now Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. 
You know, sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. Gonna get me a wifey poo. It's gonna be the payoff. She does have a kid already, so though. What do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Where are you going? This is the wrong way. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Feed you first. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. And I have no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. What's you up to? Well, so long as I stay with her. This way. I stay with you. We won't get caught. You want to make out? He went around the corner. Stealth lag. Huh. Not that way. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. 
I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. I feel like I'm playing like an Assassin's Creed tailing mission he right now. He just left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Ow. Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Arthur, why are you going that way? Oh my god, lady. You are quite the nag. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Years. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money, and should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even I've to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, you like hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. My horse. Hey, stop that coach. Phobos, where are you? Oh my god, Phobos. Please come this way. What are you doing, lazy Phobos? Bad Phobos. Phobos 2 and Neo Phobos listened. You hear me? Stop that damn coach! Get back here! God damn it! Stop it. Can't move without wheels, can ya? Shut my pump. Jump onto the wagon? What the hell? Oh no. I hope the carriage is Did gonna get Gillis put you up to this. We're gonna fail. 
mission here because it won't. Can't do anything. Where are you taking me? I can't. You can't do this. Come on, fail. Do you? There you go. This is Sparta. We're gonna have a little chit chat. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could. Give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Here. Here. Take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Cut you free. Take you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Very low on money. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh, theater? Me? Sure, why not? Uh, it'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the... Uh... Normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so... Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> Oof. Sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. Who paid for the tickets? How about here on the right? Sure. After you. It smells like snobbery. <laughs> but I must sit through the entire play. <laughs> I can just leave right now. <laughs> That's funny. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a proprietor to know. Are you of in a the rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Oh god. Boring.
Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Thank God. I sat through the entire thing. Things I do for love. Earn me some brownie points. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I want it, man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to, but I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free, then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're going to run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty, but I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. This is like a very long end game side mission. I wouldn't even consider this a side mission though. And she can't really tell by that blouse, but she is stacked underneath that shirt. Jesus. You a lucky man, Arthur. You dog, you. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have 20 minutes left of space on my SSD. So, I do not think I can play anymore. So, I gotta call a session here. Probably buy some clothes for Arthur as well as change things up a bit. Get my stuff here, I cut all the good stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you enjoyed, thumbs up are always appreciated. And I will see you guys next time for some more Red Dead Redemption. I look so sad right now. We'll cheer him up in the next episode, alright? As always, have a nice day.